What's going on everyone? Ray from Post String again. Yeah, it's uh, I think it's after 10 o'clock now. I don't know really what day or time it is anymore. I know it's dark outside. This with coronavirus is not uh, so much fun. Not that I have it, but it's a tricky time. Um, but I'm here today to give you guys uh, as much tips or advice as, as possible. Uh, I'm going. I'm about to change the grommets on a Babel Up Pure Strike 1619. Weight is 305 grams. Head size 98 square inch. Um, yeah. So here we go. Changing the grommets. Some new ones. So the first thing, first steps first, obviously take out the old grommets. So in order to do that, you'll have to use a pair of uh, cutters, pliers, plier cutters, or however their official name is. But here it goes. So your first thing you want to do is take off any any uh, holes that have been widened through either a knot or the position. The, the hole or the grommet might be because it won't allow you to pull it out swiftly. Um, so here we go. Hope you guys can see as well as possible. I tried to set up the camera angles as best as I could. Um, yeah, so hopefully it comes out okay. Again, I'm always filming, recording with two cameras. This one's for Instagram Live and that one is for YouTube. What up, everyone? Ray Diaz from Pro String London. I think it's uh, after past 10 o'clock at night. And uh, finally got the kids to bed. Well, not really, but they're up there somewhere trying to do as they're told. Um, are we open? Well, think uh, we're still working, but at a very, 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 very slow rate. We're still getting phone calls and a few emails, but but nothing, nothing to uh, to be proud about, especially in these uh, complicated times. The UK is getting pretty bad with uh, with deaths, unfortunately. So I believe I've cut all the grommets where they needed to be cut. Tools that'll be in handy, plier, cutters, and an awl. I like to use the, uh, the pliers with a small angle on them. So this should come out nice and easy. These aren't the hardest grommets to uh, to put in, but you just never know. Sometimes a simple job, like everything in life, can just go terribly wrong. But I'm just glad it's not a uh, Babelot Pure Drive, because Babelot Pure Drives are terrible. They're very they're notorious for being a nightmare to. Uh, to change. Alright, so as you see, it was easy enough to get them off. This is what the racket looks like underneath. This person should have a buddy of mine, actually doubles partner of mine, when we played Middlesex Leagues in London. Should have changed it much earlier, especially considering <laughs> he knows me very well. But, yeah, one of those things. The bottom ones, you can choose to change them, not or not, it's not a big thing. These normally don't um, lose any shape of any sort or anything like that. But seeing that I'm doing this in a video and trying to be as professional as possible, then why not just change it all? Okay. 
So we've got two at the bottom. This one, this is a two, four, uh, a two, four, six piece grommet. And you see, sometimes you just need to give a little, little wiggle through with the all. So, as you can see, the two bottom ones are in, up until here, same thing on the other side, up until here. This racket isn't, I wouldn't say it's the easiest, it's not the hardest either. So when you're putting in the, uh, the side grommets, Be sure to leave the top three free. You'll see why in a minute. And sometimes it's just, depending on the state of the racket as well, how many times it's strung, can, can uh, affect sometimes how easy these things go through and how well maintained the racket has been. This racket. I'd have to say, sorry Ed, but not great. Hence, the reason he hasn't changed any of these things yet. Grommets. So an all is pretty important part normally. There are rackets, not many though, that you'll be able just to slide them in quite easily. And some grommets will require a bit of a pull, as what you're going to see me do now. Because if not, they don't. The holes don't coincide perfectly, and it can be a real nightmare sometimes, especially if you can't pull hard enough. As it's happening to me now, but I should be able to get there. Lost it again. But you'll see this is a normally not easy task and you might have to go back a few times. Oh, that might do it. But the thing is, by the time I grab the grommet, don't. Come on. Come on. Dance for me. There you go. I hope. Now I need the magic all. And hopefully. There we go. One through, two through, and three. So the rest should really be a lot easier than what you've just seen. You've really got to pull the grommet.
I'm fully aware that you're all probably watching movies now on a what? Is it Wednesday? Or is it Thursday already? Yeah, it's Thursday, isn't it? Especially if you're in mainland Europe, you're an hour ahead. Even coming up to midnight, possibly. Okay, so the finishing touch should be relatively easy. The last piece shall fit in. I can say that, but. Always another little piece of advice is always before you cut the grommets out of the racket, the old ones, make sure you've got the right ones because I've had it before where you cut out the grommets or almost cut out the grommets and then you check. Always just put the, put the grommets against the frame or compare them to, the, to what's in the racket already just to be on the safe side because then you risk either leaving yourself without grommets on your racket and you need to use it perhaps, if it's your racket. And then of course if it's a client, then you're in bigger trouble. And sometimes there are some holes that might just be stubborn and not want to go in. But as long as you leave them in the right place when you string it, you should be okay. Interesting. As you can see, got a bit of bump here, and I don't know where the holes are. The uh, actual grommet itself, or where it is. I really hope I don't have to lift up this whole piece, but the grommet's obviously gone off to the side somehow. It's being uh, pretty stubborn. Want to be my friend? I'm gonna force it. Changing the grommet sometimes can be tr tricky on the fingers. So hopefully you've got good grip. It's not a job for everyone. I could be wrong. But I know that there would be people out there after five or ten minutes will throw the racket out the window and take it down to the local shop. For the more stubborn people, they'll keep going, keep going, and hopefully they'll get there out of being persistent. Is this bloody side again? All right, watch out. And sometimes it's better to do it with daylight, I would say, because I'm struggling to see. Because it's Obviously, the rackets are hollow, and it's dark in there, and it's very hard to see. It's black on black, black grommets on the dark inside of the racket, and it's very hard to see.
There you have it. All done. Yeah, it's pretty done, but I'm a bit of a perfectionist, I'd say. And until I'll go through with the string, I mean it's through, but I don't like leaving it down to string, leaving it down to the string to the last job. What's going on, my stringer? How you doing, Cornell? Working hard here, man, working hard. All good. So, you guys saw how that started off. Yeah, put that camera at the top. Yeah, everything's in. You might think, oh, it doesn't look normal. I'm not sure how it looks on the camera, but I can assure you that once I start stringing it, which I will very shortly, um, that'll be it. So it'll get pushed all the way in. And I recommend stringing a kilo, an extra kilo, um, or the equivalent of 2.2 .2 pounds, uh, so you don't lose any tension. It can be, it has been known to, brackets give a stringing, a stringing job can lose a, a little bit of tension with new grommets sometimes. Alright guys, I'm going to move the cameras over and I'll be back in five. I'm going to set up over there next to the Wilson Bayardo, Str Bayardo string machine. So see you guys shortly. Let's end this one.